What is going on with everybody, man? It's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young Guy, coming to you live in the Pink Dungeon, giving it to you real, raw, rugged, and I'm back in here with another album review. This is Fly Sifu by Pink Sifu and Fly Anakin. I've actually interviewed both of these dudes earlier this year. Um, very good artists, very cool dudes, by the way, is also as well. And um, I was like, you know what? I've never reviewed anything of theirs on my channel, so let me uh, try to see if I can give this review. And before I even listened to it, the cover struck me because it looks like something that's just like will be heralded as a classic album. Like that cover is very, very, very nice. And it just looks like something seven, eight years from now, niggas in the underground. They're going to be like, well, I'm talking about why that motherfucking hell, but that shit so hard. Well, I'm talking about that it came out. Well, I'm talking about letting that motherfucker, well, I'm talking about letting that, let that motherfucker not hear me. No. First of all, I don't know if niggas in the underground speak like that. I've, not, I've never met a country nigga in the underground that talk like that. I sound like I was goddamn doing a, a Desi Bank skit. I don't know what I was doing there. But you get what I'm saying. I feel like people in the underground are going to, uh, like, that. it just look like that. Like, before I even talk about the album, the cover just look like something that's special. Like, it like it's supposed to be important. So... I was like, let me give it a listen. And uh, spoiler alert, I feel like this is a very special album from the, the productions on here, the, the feature, uh, just the people on here and the way this album sounds. I feel like years from now, people are going to look at this like, yo, bro, this is one of them ones. I say the same thing about uh, the, 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 the Knowledge and Anderson Pack album. It's like, bro, niggas is going to hear this later and be like, my nigga, this is, this is one of them ones. You feel me? There's a lot of albums that I've heard that I feel like have not got its credit like right then, but years later it's going to get its credit. I can't think of anything else. Like, uh, I don't know, I feel like some rap songs low-key years from now, the people who really know going to be like, bro, this is... Like, we kind of slept on this, but this is really going to be, like, an important album. So, hey, I feel like hopefully this will be one of them ones. And uh, this is Fly Sifu, brought to you by uh, Pizza Hut, man. Let's get right into it, man. Uh, first track, Kentro. A nice intro for sure. Uh, a lot of weird beats on here. Um, crazy. Shout out to Pink Sifu. This nigga is insane, bro. The, the, the way this album sounds compared to the album that he put out early this year, drastically different, bro. This nigga put out, like... Let's go kill police music, bro. This nigga put out like a, uh, uh, I don't know, like a theme song for like the race war. I mean, like a, like a soundtrack for the race war, bro. And this is before the protests, mind you. He dropped this before any of the Black Lives Matter thing was going on. This nigga put out race war theme song music, bro. I'm like, bro, what is, bro? I'm talking about this shit made me want to go behead white people. <laughs> this nigga put out album that made me want to go behead your guru. You hear me? I'm like, bro, this is insane. Such a crazy album. Album, if you haven't heard that you might want to be in a right headspace because it's so drastically different from this and yes that guy man very very just thought-provoking artist shout out to sifu man but yes very very good intro intro excuse me and then it goes to suitcase special by the way also another thing i'm not going to touch on is a whole bunch of uh skits a lot of funny skits got some jimmy cozier slander in there uh i like the black lot when the black bitches matter i like that one i was pretty funny it's a lot of good skits in here by the way so one third out there but then we go to suitcase special which is a budgie beat shout out to budgie man interviewed him very very cool guy all the way from the UK. <laughs> I was so bad. I tried to do it. I tried to do a, a DJ Tim Westwood uh, impersonation right there. <laughs> DJ Tim Westwood. <laughs> I don't know, man. Anyway, shout out to Budgie, man. He's, he's super duper good with the beats. And this song is so good. It's a lot of, like, jazzy samples on here. It's a lot of crazy beats on here. There's a lot of stuff. And I feel like they showed that they could, like, uh, have range on this album. And uh, I really enjoyed that. Really good song. Run the Fade is about what you probably would think is about running the fade. And um, Fly Anakin, bro, every time he raps, it sounds like a radio freestyle. I don't know if you understand what i'm saying when i say that but that is a compliment like that nigga rap like like these niggas finna hit me you know like when niggas go on flex and niggas be rapping for flex i feel like niggas rap their ass off when they go to flex you like the loaded lux one the royce one the mickey fax one the black thought one like all of the ones that's like really special niggas go to flex to really rap like niggas when they go to the radio station come to beat niggas be you know what i'm saying just doing their best i feel like when he rap that's what he sound like bro this nigga is such a rapper's rappers bro it's such a refreshing thing to hear i think one of the funniest things i've ever heard about him was from pink seafood in our interview he did 
He said the first time he heard Pink, uh, the first time he heard Fly Anakin, he thought Fly Anakin was dead. I was like, what? He said, bro, that nigga sound like a 90s or 80s rapper, bro. He said, when I found out that nigga had an Instagram, I was like, bro, this nigga alive? <laughs> I was like, that's hilarious, because that nigga really do sound like he was, like, born in the wrong generation, bro. This nigga sound like he's supposed to be one of uh, Ghostface friends or some shit, bro. I don't know. He sound like he's supposed to be on the on a, uh, on a Bobby Digitech album, the, the, uh, the RZA album. Y'all ever heard that album? It's a song on there called Holocaust featuring Holocaust. Insane song. I feel like Fly Anakin would fit perfectly on that Holocaust song. He is such a good rapper's rapper's, man. I just want to throw it out there. But, yeah, Run the Fade is basically just about, you know, run it up on niggas. I think... Uh, Pink Sifu had a bar about, like, niggas be typing, but they don't ever want to pull up in your time zone. That was hard. Uh, yeah, it's just a really, really good song. And then we go to Foise Interlude. Now, this is where things get start getting a little crazy, man. Featuring Silk Money. Bro, this nigga Silk Money was wildin', bro. I don't know what this nigga was on. I'm scared to talk about this song on my channel, bro. This, this nigga was talking about some shit to get your channel deleted, bro. This, this nigga got them. I, if I say words, he was saying, nigga, the fans might be on my ass. But this nigga was talking about some... I don't know, bro. Nigga was, what did he say? All oh, these A-list celebrities on Epstein Island. I know they ain't focused. Oh, I know you lying by having COVID. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here, bro? Didn't nigga say he had a box delivered to him with the uh with the blueprints to the Federal Reserve? Let's go blow it up. I'm like, bro, I, hey, 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 calm down. <laughs> Boy, that nigga trying to get me Alex Jones, boy. I ain't gonna have a YouTube, a Twitter, or Instagram. I'm like, bro, eh. Hey. So I be saying these things, nigga. Should you be saying these things? This nigga was wildin', bro. This nigga was like, what he said? He said, how about how about me and your black ass go blow up the New York Stock Exchange? I was like, bro, eh. Hey. How about your black ass go do it? I hate when nigga try to say some crazy shit, then try to put you in it. Hey, man, but hey, Eric said he was coming along with me. Hey, Eric ain't say not a goddamn thing like that, Silk Buddy. Hey, that nigga was wildin' on here, bro. That nigga was in his QAnon bag. If QAnon, if the ends in QAnon stood for niggas, <laughs> that nigga was wildin'. This is a fire song. It's very, very good, but boy, that nigga was wild. I was like, man, I'm gonna have to skip this right. <laughs> I don't know if I'm able to talk about this, man. That nigga Silk Money was going out his mind, bro. Fire song, though, man. Very, very good beat. Uh, Richard Pryor. Now we go back to uh, Pink Seafood and Fly Anakin. Such a good beat, man. Such a good beat, man. That... Fire, bro. Love this beat. This is probably my favorite song on here. I could not stop playing it the first time I heard it. And it's such a crazy transition from Foise in the Lou with Silk Money just going insane, bro. That nigga snapped, too. That's the crazy part. Usually when niggas be going on type of tangent rap, they be trash. That nigga was going off, bro. And then you go to Richard Pryor, which is such a stripped back, laid back, or stripped down, laid back, just song, bro. So fire, man. What that nigga said? That nigga said the magic conch chose you niggas to hang it up. That nigga Flanagan was going there, bro. Early retirement as fuck. Uh, then, he, then he start going on. I think he was about to say. Same nigga that, that I guess had retired early. Nigga said, uh, bro, got an OnlyFans now. I was like, bro, what is going on? This nigga went from from rapping to OnlyFans. Nigga went from selling bars to, to, to selling meat, bro. That's crazy, man. Imagine, like, you was, like, a rapper that was popping or whatever, but, you know, it went downhill fast for you. You got called a little pimp on stage by Donald Trump. And nigga's like, damn, bro, you got some new music? Like, nah, I don't even do that no more, bro. I, 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 I sell meat. You, you do what, brother? I sell meat, man. <laughs> what you, 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 you like a butcher, nigga? <laughs> nah, bro, I'm only fans. <laughs> Nigga said he sell meat. That's crazy, bro. Nigga, nigga you Benny the Butcher? Man, nigga, nigga, this is Benny the Butcher bag, man. Nigga, selling meat. That is an insane transition from rapping, man. Fire song. Also, shout out to Fly Anakin. I know that we're getting much younger rappers in the rap game because he had a Magic Conch Bar, which is uh, SpongeBob. And then he had a Billy and um, a, a Billy and... um. Dang, what's the show on uh, freaking Billy and Maddie? No, not Billy and Maddie. What is it? Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. The show they used to be on Cartoon Network back in the day. Billy and Grimm, right? Like, stuff like that, you know? So, he's a younger nigga. So, shout out to younger niggas coming in the rap game, man. Always appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, bro, this beat crazy. Shout out to Player Hayes. He he gave him, I mean, he gave them niggas a beat, man. Firefire song. 
then we're gonna open up shop featuring be kool-aid um yeah man this is a, a really good song bro sifu is really one of the like most creative artists out man like, be honest be honest be honest be honest like this beat and like the way he's rapping over this makes me like think of like a buster rhymes or like a missy elliott type video that should be shot to this like if they ever shoot a video to this they need to be in like a missy elliott like just crazy because it's because it's beat and the way he's rapping is very creative i would love to see them do like some out of the box type stuff for this video fire fire song and then we go to mine right man shout out to that little nigga uh jay versace bro never would have thought that guy would be a really good producer i don't really want to interview that nigga because the fact that he went from just like vine comedian to like a really good producer and like a hip-hop hip-hop producer not like hey i'm making like a uh, mainstream rap music. this nigga's on some like uh you know he could have been producing for like ghost facing them niggas like the fact he's doing that is just so mind-blowing to me and uh he's super duper talented man and we got live on here bro live also another talented person and that's what i'm talking about this album features so many talented people that i feel like are going to be like listed as like legends and really elite artists in the next 10 years man so i think that's just super duper cool yeah man like i wish there was also more hooks on this bro because although i'm cool if there's no hooks on this album but the fact that the hooks are good like not no not excuse me the hooks are great on this album and the fact that they are just like not doing hooks i'm like bro i can see if y'all some niggas that really can't do no hooks you know what i'm saying y'all like hey we rap good but they really can't do no hooks <laughs> we some rap niggas we ain't no hook niggas but no y'all are rap and hook niggas so i really wish they just took advantage of that man and live just adding her little flu at the end of that man i get my mind right money right money i get my mind right money right and then too hey that beat is hard man and they went on in fire man uh what, 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 what fly Anakin can say man he said uh we'll never tell on my brother because his baby teeth in fire man already know i'm a god i don't gotta wait to be him that's crazy bro that nigga's in his uh god body bag let me let me find out fly Anakin can know the day's math man that nigga he was talking that talk on here man fire fire song man love live she did her thing on here and then we go to slow man um well what fly said he said uh don't count another nigga to get you popping if you can't get if you can't get it on your own you need some more options facts man shout out to them niggas that be all on it other like a nigga okay so how about this like flying can he oppose like his album like yo album coming out today they gonna see another nigga talking about hey i'm the most fire 16 year old rapper out of vancouver canada check me out it's like nigga you probably the only rapper going out of vancouver canada nigga, what the heck <laughs> nigga nigga trying to be a canuck and spit bars man get out of here man find a new option what my nigga skiller baby said skiller baby said <laughs> you've been selling drugs for 10 years hit the road <laughs> niggas need to hit the road man goodness gracious p u niggas stink man but nah that was, that was a good song though and then we go to rick james i love this beat bro this i don't know if like they just like when they name like the the songs after people rick james richard Pryor, it's like they choose the best beats rick james is such a crazy beat bro is it's like a jazzy beat it's not like rapping over like a, a miles davis type beat or something it is crazy and the way they handle the beat is really really good man so songs like this it's like bro i don't know how many niggas just hop on this song and just you know flow over it like they was doing fire 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 and then we go to space which is probably well, no probably it's definitely a much more uh i feel like difficult beat to rap over and they handle it just as good man the way sifu attacked that was definitely my favorite i love the way he attacked that spades verse so so good and then we go to clean man another example of these niggas having hooks and it being really really good man like bro you niggas need to bro i'm telling y'all boy that what, what do you say that that uh that uh, uh oh man and new friends you know how that be that was hard but i love that man what do you say saying hoodie ice cream but we keep that clean like i like that bro because the way they do hooks it's usually on some real smooth player type stuff and hey y'all can y'all can go into that lane i'm telling you man that's that's that fire right there man love clean bro like i said every time I live on a track i already know it's gonna be hard bro if it's a solo track a feature track like when i seen our earl i'm like bro if you see live on a track it can't be bad i've never heard anybody feature live on a track 
And it's trash, bro. I feel like I feel like her reputation and record for that is like undefeated. Like if if a nigga, if, if you know what I'm saying, her boyfriend or whoever, man, you know what I'm saying, hit up like, hey, baby, I want you in the trash. Like, let's do it. And the trash, trash, you like, nigga, I am 20 and 0 for uh for features. I'm not gonna have any trash, right? I'm telling you, bro, she is never on a bad song, bro. Fire, fire, fire. And then we go to Cream Interlude, Cream A. I don't know if I'm saying that wrong or right. Featuring Fouché, which I think I'm also saying maybe right. First time hearing of her. And this reminded me of listening to uh, Act 2 when I heard Dinner at Tiffany's for the first time. I'm like, bro, is this... Did, 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 did we shuffle like this is a different album like what is this because it is so pretty it is so good like this literally is man the way she just harmonizing with the and I feel and I, like she was going on that thing bro i love this man and the, the, the 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 guitar singing she going to falsetto singing in a lower voice like man she is hard i have to check her out bro like i said i do not know a lot about her at all but man this was a great introduction Introduction to Fouché. I hope I'm saying her name right. She is fire. And then we go to uh then we go to wanting to get shot or waiting to get shot, excuse me. Uh this beat hard, man. I feel like this might be Sifu best verse, bro. This nigga was in a different bag, man. Or uh, one of his best verses, bro, at least on this album, man. What do he say? He said, um, uh, what he say? He said, uh, he said, he said, I was done. No, no, no. What he say? He say, uh, he said, you looking, like, you looking just like the feds. I know the style. My people was waiting there. My, my people, uh, sat there and bled all white faces. I like all oh, mine dead. Ooh. I messed up that verse hard. I messed up them lines hard because I couldn't read my own handwriting. But ooh, wee, man. That's hard, man. My, pap my people sat there and bled all white faces. I like all oh, mine dead. Like the way he, boy, he was talking, boy. I, what he said, he was saying, I, I need to get mama a rack and I need to make my daddy a rack. The way he was going, this might be one of my favorite pink seafood verses ever, bro. I feel like he stole the show on that one, man. That was a hard, hard verse from him, man. Good, good song. Um, then we're gonna time up. Shout out to Mad Lib, man. Love to see Mad Lib collab with niggas like this, bro. I think Mad Lib said the Fly Anakin was like one of his new favorite rappers, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, man, I just show you he cut from that cloth, man, of them rappers, rappers, man. And they went in on this, bro. What do you say? Just trying to stay peace above madness back when niggas was doing the most for the most, cause niggas ain't have it. Fire, man. Love that right there, bro. Good, good be good, good song. And then we go to Raspberry, which once again proves that these niggas are not just rap niggas. They some rap niggas and some hook niggas, man. They are this, but they, I'm telling you, bro, these niggas can do it all, man. That hook, man. I can see currency on this, bro. Like, I really want to hear currency on this with the two two dope boys and that uh, and the uh, 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 boys and that i got that two two dope boys and that i'm telling you bro that sound like some crazy just hop on and slide man that is such a good song man what do you say he said, what, what, what he said, uh, they said, dead white face is supposed to keep you alive. So if I flip a couple bands, am, am I supposed to be fine? Fire, man. Love that, bro. These niggas is going on that, man. And then that nigga Fly, he sounded so good on this, bro. He sounds good on every beat, man. That nigga, like, I've never heard him sound bad on the beat. That nigga sounds good on every beat, man. Good, good song. Um, And then we close it out, man, with Dollar Dr. Dream, produced by Animals. Interview that guy as well, man. Shout out to Animals, man. Such a good song, man. Nigga fly bodied this, bro. He really sound like he from another era, bro. Like he sound like, like he said, like this nigga alive? Like, I thought this nigga was a sample the whole time. Like, bro, that's what he sound like, bro. That nigga cut from a completely different cloth, man. Love this album, bro. Really, really good stuff. Um, glad I could review it. Uh, glad I could even interview these niggas and talk to these brothers because I really do feel like they're gonna be a, um some special artists. So hey, hope you guys enjoyed it if you listen to it. Until next time, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate and I I Players gonna play, man. Y'all, I let your partner, man.